how to tie the full Windsor from two different perspectives, a mirrored perspective and from your point of view. So grab your tie, put it around your neck, with the wide side on the right. You're gonna wanna slide the wide side down because this is a rather large knot. Form an X with your tie, the wide side coming in front and about four to six inches of the narrow end hanging beneath. Bring the wide end up the hole you formed with the X and back over to the left side. Bring your tie back behind the narrow end of the tie and over to the right side. Bring your tie up and into the hole that you formed with the X at the beginning and pull it back towards the right side. This is also a good time to adjust your knot to make sure that you make it the most symmetrical that you can. Next, you're gonna bring the tie over the front of the knot you're forming. I tuck my finger in here to make it easier to grab in the next step. Bring the tie up the hole you formed with the X and grab it and pull it through that cross loop you just made. Pull the tie down to tighten the knot. I often use my other hand here to guide along the tie. And after you tighten up your knot, you can cinch it up to your collar and adjust your collar to finish. There is the full Windsor knot. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if this was helpful for you.